African animal trypanosomiasis, this is a major constraint in livestock production in most sub-Saharan countries, specifically in Tanzania. Livestock keepers around the wildlife protected areas are in the big problem because in the wildlife protected areas is where there are more sese flies, which are the vectors for the disease. Many cattle do die of a disease. The farmers also spend a lot of money to buy insecticides to control sese fly, but also they use a lot of money to buy trypanosides to treat the animals. There are a lot of benefits if the disease is controlled in cattle. However, they are concerned about sustainability of the current approaches. The affected areas are often remote and the farmers might struggle to access the trypanocytes and insect sites they need. Our research shows that the control that farmers are using to protect their cattle around these areas, particularly the use of insect sites to control the SSA vector, is reducing also the risk of human disease in those areas. Farmers are complaining that they're treating the animals with trypanosides, but there is treatment failure. We have several researchers from various universities. All these are involved in projects in our country to identify ways to improve effective use of insecticides and trypanosides. Also to investigate the main reasons for treatment failure and to investigate the impact and the mechanism of resistance to trypanosides. These farmers, they're using the drugs on their own, and this is the problem which contributes to drug resistance. Other problems that the farmers have is that they're often not administering the correct dose. They're unable to weigh or estimate the weight of their cattle. They're not always diluting the medication correctly. And in some instances, they're also not administering the medication correctly. All of this can lead to treatment failures. This means that these drugs, although used frequently, are always used as effectively as they could be, and treatment failure is very common. The drugs available for treating and preventing African animal trypanosomiasis have been around for many years, and the trypanosome can become resistant to them, making control even more challenging. The scale of this problem is not clear. My researchers have seen that there are drugs with poor quality. So the role of the pharmaceutical companies is to produce good, effective drugs. There is one company which is investigating in the development of new drugs. The drug candidate have been already identified. However, the use of current drug still need to be improved. Otherwise, the new drug will suffer the same issues as the previous one. Our projects involve veterinary epidemiologists, molecular parasitologists, entomologists and mathematical modellers of disease working together to try and answer these questions. We also work closely with the government in Tanzania to try and help make sure that our research can provide the evidence base they need for making decisions about trypanosomiasis control. And we're co-funded by GALVMED, who are driving a new drug development for, for animal African trypanosomiasis. Um, so we can make sure that our findings from the lab or from the field can feed into their new drug development, but also into how any new drugs might be implemented in the field in the future. <laughs>